Hi everyone, so I recently bought an Echo or Eco Smart Outlet and I've really enjoyed using it so far. The only drawback is even though it's a smart outlet, I still couldn't set it exactly how I wanted to. My goal was to have my lights come on at sunset each night and then be able to always turn off at the same time, meaning in this case I want it to always turn off at 11 o'clock every single time because otherwise I'm having to constantly go in and keep changing how long it's on based on the programs that they have available. So I was getting ready to review the app and the device on the App Store and I gave it four stars out of five and my drawback was that I couldn't really program it still exactly how I wanted to. Being a smart device, I should be able to tell it exactly how I want it to go. So as I was posting mine, I did read someone else's review and they said there's a workaround for it and it kind of threw me off and how they explained it so I kind of just messed around with it and finally figured out exactly how to do this. So I'm going to walk you through. And if you have another um, company's plug that does the same thing, this probably will work. Just depends on what options you have available. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on this one how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and open up the app. I already have everything linked to my Wi-Fi, installed and all that stuff. I'm not going to go through that in this tutorial. Um, I'm just going to show you how to program it just like that. So we're going to open up the app. And this one is pretty archaic. Um, I will say it's very, very uh, simple in how it's laid out. There's not a lot to it. Right now I only have one smart outlet, which is in my kitchen, and I have under cabinet lighting installed underneath, and that's what I use it for. So as the days get shorter coming up in the uh, winter time now, I would like for it to always come on at around sunset time and then to always shut off at 11 o'clock. So I realized because of how the daylight time changes, I'm constantly having to go in and keep fixing it. Um, every you know, couple of weeks I have to change it by about 15, 20, 30 minutes so that way I'm not wasting uh, power and just having stuff running when it really A, can't be seen and B, it just doesn't need to be on, period. So whenever you get into the app, it's going to look like this. If you have multiple devices, you just take your finger and start spinning uh, around and then the one that is selected in yellow is going to be the current one you're going to be working with. So right now I only have one outlet. Um, I'll probably get another one and use it during Christmas time or maybe even plug in my uh, living room lamp or something like that. So we're going to, um, I'm going to show you the workaround here. And the first thing we're going to do is click on the timer setting. And you can already see mine's already set up, but I'm going to show you how to start from scratch. So we're going to click the little plus sign up here in the top right. All right, these are the different options that come av are available with this device. We have programmable, which is your standard, the exact minute that you want it to come on and the exact minute that you want it to go off. Then you have a countdown timer, which is just like it says. The astronomic timer has to deal with the sunrise and the sunset. And then you have holiday random and security random, which are exactly how they say. So it just comes on at random times depending on uh, whichever one you want it to be on. So the first thing we're going to do is actually go to the astronomic timer. If you're using a different app, then try to find whatever it's called where you have a sunrise and a sunset. All right, so the review that I read, um, it was kind of clear, but yet not really either, so I just kind of experimented around until I figured it out, and then this is what I figured out that they were actually doing with theirs to make it to work. So what you're going to do is we're going to select sunset, all right, because that's obviously when we probably want to turn our lights on, otherwise we're just wasting power. But for me, I do like to turn mine on about 30 minutes beforehand. That way, if it's cloudy, then I go, do have some light already turned on. So sometimes I come home, it's 3.30 when I'm done with school, or sometimes I have to stay at school until about 5 o'clock. So it just depends on what, I'm, uh, what my schedule is for the day. Or even in the, uh, as winter begins, I either have choir practice or I have uh, workout classes that are going to last until 7.30, 8.30, 9 o'clock, in which case, obviously, by that time, it's going to be dark all year round. But uh, sometimes I do want it on just a little bit before. That way, there is some light going on. How my house is set up, the under cabinet lighting is bright enough that it pretty well brightens up my kitchen, my dining room, and my living room because they all run together. So, um, and it has a dimmer on it so I can crank it up or crank it down. So then the weird part is, is when you get back to uh, the turn off section, we're going to click sunset again. And this time we're going to also click the before button. And you need to set it before the on time. And I know that sounds weird and just give me a second and I'll explain how it works. But we're going to go ahead and set it right now. 
So let's just go ahead and say that we want to turn on an hour before sunset, okay? Now, if you don't know, down here in the bottom corner, you can roll back and forth with your finger, and you can change it to after or before, all right? So those are movable as well. And then the max on this one's only three hours, so some people are like, well, just set it for three hours after sunset, and you got it. Well, yeah, but during the winter months, when the sun sets around 5 o'clock here in the eastern side of Missouri, it's going to shut off at 8 o'clock. Well, I don't want all my lights turned off at 8 o'clock because I'm going to be up for at least another two hours yet. They usually are up until at least 10 o'clock, if not later. All right, so for this one, we need to set it longer. So again, we're going to set it for one hour before sunset, and then click the check mark up here. All right, now, you're probably thinking, now, wait a minute, though. That means it's going to be on for like 24 hours almost. Okay, there's a catch. That's what we're going to move into next. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because I already have it. All right. We're going to add another one. And this time we are going to use the classic programmable one. This is where you need to think about where you live and when the sun sets. Okay, I live on the eastern side of Missouri. And the latest that the sun will set is around 9 o'clock somewhere in there. The earliest is almost 5 o'clock. And that's right before Christmas time, whenever we have uh, the winter solstice and then around uh, 9 o'clock p.m. during the summer solstice. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to set mine to turn on at 9 o'clock. And you're probably thinking, but we already set an on time. We want to come on sunset. Again, just give me a second, and once we have them all set, then I'll explain what this is going to do. So we're going to go ahead and set it for 9 p.m. All right, the time that I always want it to turn off, though, is at 11 o'clock. If you don't want it to turn off the exact same time every single night, just because of security reasons, then what you'll need to do is have it uh, set your on and off time based on the days of the week. So down here in the bottom, if I start clicking these, see how they gray out? If I click them again, they turn black again. When they're black, that means it's turned on for that day. When it's grayed out, that means it's turned off for the day. So you can literally come in and just set one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or you could do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or however you want to do it. You could literally change it up so that way it goes off at like 9.58 one day, 11.03 one time, maybe 11.10 the next day, or whatever, if you're really worried about people always seeing that your lights go off at the same time. If that's the case, then you probably should call the cops because you have people staked out at your house, but nonetheless, all right? So we're going to go ahead and click Done, and then I am going to delete this one so I don't have two of them in there. And then this is what it will actually look like when you're finished, all right? The first thing that's going to happen is on the on function, on the astronomic timer, it's going to turn on at 30 minutes before sunset or whenever you did uh, set yours. Then it says off sunset before uh, an hour. Okay, It's going to turn on an hour before sunset. But what's going to happen is that's not actually going to happen because we put another program in the middle. So this we figured out that this app like runs kind of like on a basic alarm clock pattern. Okay, like you could set 15 alarms in a day and they're always going to go off in the correct time order, right? Okay, just because I set one for 9 o'clock, but I didn't set it until, you know, 4 o'clock that evening, right? It's not like it's going to keep going off until that time, right? Okay, so what's going to happen is then it's already going to be on at sunset. It's still just going to click on even though it already is. So it's just, you'll probably just hear it click and that's it at 9 o'clock p.m. or whatever your latest sunset time will ever be, okay? Then it's going to turn off at that given time that you set. So for me, I always set it for 11 o'clock. So if you did a random one, then it'll turn off at that random time. Then that hour before sunset, it's going to turn itself off again, okay? So it's not really going to be on for 24 hours like it kind of seems like at first, okay? So the great benefit about this is um, so again, the sun sets as early as five o'clock or so here, and then it could go as long as nine o'clock. Well, that's a four hour difference. I used to just set my timer for five until 11. And so my lights were always on for six hours. Well, to help save power, this will ensure you that no matter what time of the year is, okay, whether we're in, uh, the winter, the spring, the summer, the fall, whatever it is, whether we're in daylight savings time or we're in standard time, right? Cause that also messes with your timer stuff you know, is this will always then turn on exactly around sunset and will always turn off at that given time that you told it to. So yeah, there are times where like in the summertime, it may be only on for about two hours, but then in the wintertime, yeah, it's probably going to be on for five, maybe even six hours, depending on how long you have it set up. Okay. 
So um, I even know, like, now, whenever I start to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, I notice it's getting darker, you know, early in the morning again. So uh, because of the we're slowly getting into the fall and winter months. So at some point, I may even add one in here to where it will kick back on around uh, 6 o'clock and then shut off again at 7 o'clock before I head out for school. So it just depends on how you want to set it up. But this is the best way I, I have found, and it has worked so far, for this to happen. So that way you can literally set it and forget it as the old saying was. Um, and you're done. So I mean now that I have this I really don't have to mess with it unless I just want to add more stuff to it. So again you can pretty well customize the little on and off part, the programmable part as much as you want. You may have to tweak it a little bit so if you don't know the, the time of your sunsets and all that stuff in your area you may have to tweak it a little bit. Um, and then some people I know were like well I just want mine to turn on at sunset and be done with it and that's it. Uh, but then again, they're like, oh, but it's cloudy and I can't see. So, you know, sometimes you need light just a little bit before sunset, depending on if it's cloudy or if it's got full sun. All right. So I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, again, it's like it's very nice that I finally figured this out. And if I need to override, so let's say I do come in late um, on the weekend or something like that, then all I got to do is click my button, which you might have just heard the little click on the background. and I'll turn it off again. And so I can always override if I really need to, which is nice. So if you haven't bought a smart outlet yet, I suggest it. They're really, really cool. Um, they do save you money. They don't really use a lot of power to run themselves. And, of course, they hook to your Wi-Fi, so you do have to have Wi-Fi. But otherwise, I mean, it is really, really cool. I'll probably start adding more as I go throughout. So I hope this helped you. Um, leave comments if you got questions. And um, I found this one at Walmart. It was about 20 bucks or so. And, I mean, you look at compare it to another timer. It's basically the same price if you get anything higher end where you can program it several different ways. So it's just really, really nice that it's pretty well good to go. And the good part is you can literally set it and forget it now unless you have some kind of power outage, your uh, internet gets changed and you have to re-enter a password or something like that. All right, so thanks for watching and I hope I was able to help you. Uh, give me a like and subscribe or um, not, I don't care. <laughs> it would be nice if you did. But uh, otherwise, do leave a comment in the sections, uh, or leave a comment in the comment sections, what I'm trying to say. And I will uh, see you next time. So thanks for watching.